In the previous episode, we took Dunglanus in a siege assault, then defended against several sieges. We lost Sanon to a rebellion and then took it back a week later. Now we're personally holding all towns. So we can get back to it. We're not getting sieged anywhere. Uh, Remtoil, what happened here? Okay, well, I guess we're taking that back. I didn't realize that got sieged. Sanon is being, oh, William the Conqueror. Interesting. The big boys. Here we go. 447. I mean, we still outnumber them, but this is going to be a bit tougher battle than what we're used to. There's not very many defenders, so there's not much we can do here. We do have to we do have to lift that siege. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, we don't want peace with anybody. So get out of here with that. Let's see if these guys join the siege. I'm kind of curious. I would like to fight a bigger battle here if we can. Or we can maybe force these guys. Will they join in if we attack? No, they won't. OK, well, we can't force them to help. What are they doing here? They're going in. No, they're backing out. OK, what is the AI doing? Okay, Nothing else is being sieged. I do see another army coming in. Hopefully they help. Maybe. Yeah, they do. OK, good. Here we go. Here we go. This we're, we're shaping up to have an epic battle. Now they are sieging. So let's see if this 300 joins. They do not. So we're going to have to get in there. All right. Help seeing on. They still have a sizable force, though. 551 is not a small army. Let's try something a little different this time. We're going to give delegate command just to the Cav. They should split into two groups. And hopefully that keep, they can focus on keeping their Cav off of our archers. So we've got... Let's, see, let's dismount these guys again on just the nobles that are leading as captains. All right, so what are they going to do? Are they just charging in like idiots? They are, aren't they? Oh, I hate the AI sometimes. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're getting kills, but it's not not perfect. But one thing that is nice is they're not flanking our archers, at least not intentionally. Like right now, they're just kind of charging into our line. Yeah, this is just going to throw away our cab. Look at that. We've already lost 10 or 15. Okay, pull back. Stop throwing your lives away. All right, let's get them back. Yeah, look at that. Already, we went from 70 to 40. God, I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> oh, I really do hate the AI. All right, here we go. We, at least, at the very least, we entice them to attack. And we're not going to give the charge command, at least, let's just hold. Let's go shield wall. And see if we can get less casualties that way. All right, group six is going to take this side. Group seven is going to take this side. And we just need them to protect our archers. And we need to keep them off. We need to keep their cab off. Get out of here. What are you doing? Get out of here. <laughs> Graham, get out of here. There we go. Alright, they still have some cab coming through our lines. We don't want that, so let's take them out. Our line seems to be holding pretty well. It looks like we're trading better than they are. But we took out William the Conqueror, so he's down. Enemy Noble's down. Let's go ahead and charge our Cav. Let's let them do their thing now. Let's go line formation charge with the infantry. I think we've sufficiently weakened them. We can do that. And can we break the middle? If we break the middle, the flanks will fall. Yeah, they got pretty thick formation here, but if we can if we can help speed this up, I think it'll save a lot of lives on our side. Oh yeah, clearing them out. There we go. They're starting to swell on hold. Let's go deal with the archers then. Yeah, they still got a decent amount of archers. Alright, turn back around. Let's go through their line again. Can't tell if they're retreating. I mean, they look pretty nonchalant if they're retreating. They're just kind of 
mosing around the field. <laughs> if I had, you know, 200 enemy cavalry roaming my lines like that, I probably wouldn't be so nonchalant. Seems like losses are pretty minimal here. 37, yeah, that's not bad considering how big this fight was. We still got to do with this 345. So maybe we can catch him, I'm not sure. Now they're going to go hide in Rem Toil, aren't they? Well, that'll make a fun siege. Let's go do that. Yeah, our numbers are dwindling. I mean, we were in the in the mid to high 13s. Now we're mid 11s. And everybody wants a Mary Astrid. Not happening. Now, because they have such a big army in here with the nobles, we're going to take the walls down. Right, we should be able to win the siege duel here with two. Yeah. So the walls are ours. Now we got to get a couple trebuchet out. Take those down. Ooh, our first child. Eight years old now. So 10 years away. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if this will last that long, but yeah, I don't like care what you do, to be honest. So we'll slowly work on these walls. Luckily, nothing else is being sieged. Oh, no, it is being sieged, but we just don't have the message. Why are they not telling us? So Flintog's being sieged. I can't tell if, if our main city is being sieged, but probably not. All right, walls are down. Let's wait for daytime and take out this last one. And let's get in there. And again, we're going to go right for that gate. So let's see if we can sneak in here. Okay, they've got a few people, but... Uh, they've got a lot of people at the gate. Oh, man. This may be really bad for us. But maybe not. Let's see. Give them a chance to get out of here, maybe. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're really trying to guard the gate. But they are at the gate. Let's open that. What does that do? Does that cause these guys to come and want to close it? Not really. Yeah, as soon as we walk out here, somebody's going to come in and close it on us, aren't they? Alright, let's go for it. Alright, it's open. Filter in, boys. We'll hold it. We'll hold it open. Yeah, there's a lot of archers. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got to defend these. Get back. Get back. Alright, he's gonna close it for sure. Yep. But oh, he closed himself out. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright, well, it's open again. Come on. Alright, here we go. Alright, we're we're here, we're here. I right, know we need to just make sure that we can actually get all the way in and not get hung up at the front. So let's try and break this deadlock. Oh, we're getting surrounded. Let's go maybe the faster something faster swinging. No, we gotta bring out the big boys. We wanna one tap. No, those are our guys. Oh, good. I tried to juke it, but it didn't work. And they're getting reinforcements spawning in right here. So we got to watch out for that. But we should probably deal with... Let's deal with their javelin throwers and their archers. I give him a shove. Oh, this guy's tough, huh? Good defense. Except for that part. Right, we can crush through most of what their defense is. So overhead, overhead strike is going to be really good here. Uh, my aim is off here. Well, how is he blocking everything? There we go. I do have a lot of archers. We should probably actually keep our spear out with the shield. Not as fun, but man, these guys are annoying. Every two seconds, I'm getting shot. All right, here we go. There we go. No more archers. Balance power looks pretty heavily in our favor, so I don't think they're really getting too many shots. Oh, look at that. They positioned archers all the way back here. That is really cool. Now all we would need to see is maybe a small shield wall holding people so they can get more shots off. That's really cool though. Mm. 
Not that it's going to make a difference in this case, but if it was a really close battle, I mean, these guys could make the difference. That's it. It is ours. Again. So 54 losses. I mean, I was expecting higher losses than usual just because they had a lot of noble and higher tier troops in here. Not much we can do about it. We had to take it back. So there we go. So Flintog is being sieged. Maybe I clicked off the message and I didn't realize it. But you know what? We do need to get our garrison out. Yeah, because we can't afford to leave people here. We're slowly losing troops. Now, this is a caravan. So let's defend the caravan. All right, they're getting hit by two sides. Let's just auto-resolve this. Eight losses. That's another Landian removed. Let's go defend Flintog. You know, we should probably stop at some of these villages along the way. Because, like I said, we are running quite low on troops compared to what we came in here with. Oh, they took Flintog. Wow. Okay. And they are attacking some more traders. So we're going to defend. Let's auto-resolve this because this is a, a no-brainer. Oh, hey, wait a second. Why did we lose so many troops to such a small army? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Okay, well, I guess we're not going to auto-resolve unless it's like really, really small. All right, let's take it back. Yeah, we're below 1,100 with injuries. Now, the walls are still up here. So actually, that's a very small... Let's just assault. There's only 56 people here. All right, to be honest, we could probably do this with just our main character. Our archers are picking their guys off. Let's just keep working at it. Yeah, we're going to have no opposition on, on the ladders. Nothing they can do about it. Now we got to focus on some of these archers. Oh, man. Yeah, those, those R blasters are, are pretty tough. There's a few random straggler archers here we got to take care of. There we go. I think that's pretty much it. Four losses. We'll take it. Ooh, they got a lot of troops. Nice. This is going to be really nice, actually. All right, let's give some troops back. Yeah, that, that actually made a big difference. That's going to help a lot. We really did need a few troops to top up our, our uh, army. So we're back up to 1250. Not too bad. Not too bad. We were starting to get attrition there a bit, and the replacements are, are pretty low tier. So not anything we can really rely on, but, you know... We need bodies. So, yeah, man, we've spent a lot of time clearing these guys out. So I'm really hoping that their their uh, available manpower is starting to get depleted. So Batania is at 3,700, 5,200, Sturgia, and 31,640. But again, a lot of that is is not troops in the field. So not as concerning there. I think Pendrake is, is the next logical target. That will make this castle more likely to be sieged, and we don't have to come back quite as far. Yeah, there's a lot of little parties around, but we're just going to have to ignore them. Let's just siege this thing down. 479, so there's quite a few people here. And they are going to get some siege equipment off. So now we got to either deal with that. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's let's at least build some fire. Some fire Onager. We don't need to knock the walls down, I don't think. All right, so we own the walls. It's just last one. And they are sieging Flintog, so let's, let's leave the assault here, and then we'll get back there. Yeah, I noticed this is the same map as the previous one we did, but this, these walls are much higher. So this is going to be a little bit tougher of a battle for us. I get some easy stabs in here. Actually, we should probably switch to our mace. Nope, don't push us off. Oh, how the heck do they push us? These guys are puny. Right, let's deal with these guys. Now, one thing we might want to focus on is working on that front gate. I, I feel like we can probably take much more advantage of that in this round. All right, we may have to drop down here. I don't think using that staircase is, is an option. We'll take a little bit of fall damage. Let's open the gate. Open this gate. And then we can defend. And defend we shall. Oh boy. Okay, they're rushing. They're trying to get... They're trying to close it. Alright, 
Well, they're gonna close it for sure. Oh boy, this is bad. All right, this is gonna be a tougher battle than I initially thought it would be. Taking these guys out is not gonna be too easy. Oh wow, somebody just got, <laughs> I guess one of our catapults just launched something over there. Let's open this up again. Get, get shots when we can, because if we stand still, these guys are going to start enveloping us. There's a lot of archers over there, too. We could just go off somewhere else. Looks like we are taking the walls. We're taking losses, but overall, it seems like we are having the better trades. And we have a lot more units than they do, so uh, we'll, we'll get her to cover here. See if we can make a better defense. There we go. Yeah, Shield Bash is actually pretty strong here. It is allowing us to get the upper hand. There we go. On the ground you go. All right, let's get up there and deal with these archers. These cowards. Look at him. Sitting up here all smug. Smug this. Stab you right in the butt. Oh, they got tiny little daggers. <laughs> what are you going to do with those daggers? There's a few archers over here, and then there are some over there, so we'll clear all this out. There we go. Get out of here. Throw them off. Now, there's probably somebody up here. Yep. Let's pick a few of these guys out. There we go. Man, right in the eye socket. Uh, we are. We took the walls. We're starting to storm everywhere. Look at how much damage our shield's taken. Our shield's just about to break. There we go. Oh. <laughs> he thought he was going to get a shot off. Right in the back of your head, your head, your face. I'll let you have the honors of getting smacked with the mace. I think that's it. There's a few units up there probably, but we're already up there. It's a matter of mopping up the rest. Yeah, I think they had archers stashed all over the place. I think there were some archers down there again. Look at that. It's beautiful. What a really good looking castle. Yeah, when this when this thing's all upgraded, it's it's pretty tough to take. Even if you take the gates, if you've got enough archers back here, you can really pick these guys apart. Ooh, heavy losses. 85. That's pretty heavy. Yeah, most of the companions aren't really getting in there and doing much, but I have a feeling they're they're sitting more in the back. All right, show mercy, and we are going to have to head out and deal with Flintolk again, but that, that was expected. So prisoners, get rid of these. They've got a lot of Fians. Yeah, we'll take the Fians, and we'll drop some other people off to make up for it. And again, take the garrison back, because we can't afford to have these guys in here. We will, let's see, forgiveness, low. So it looks like they had the right idea. Workforce policy on none. We will encourage and subsidize and enlist. That should help. Let's make sure the governor is in place. Yep. This guy of, of the castle. Let's make sure the garden goes up first. Probably militia grounds. And then everything else can come after. We've got a few troops for us. Not not really good ones, but that's fine. We need every body that we can get. Let's head back. We did take some damage there. 51%. So it was not an easy siege. Pendrake already being sieged by a group of 18. He's going to have a really hard time getting that siege camp done. And we are not going peace with anybody. So let's relieve Flintog first. All right. Infantry can advance. Archers can follow. And again, we'll give the Cav command once our lines have gotten close enough. Because if we do it right now, they're just going to charge in like idiots. <laughs> oh, man. You got to micromanage. Even when you give them command, you still have to micromanage. When you do it, I guess. All right. So when we get maybe like 75 meters from them. All right. So they can do that now. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at this rain, lightning. What a day to die for these guys, huh? Let's, uh... 
let's not rush in like that, actually. So Balder went in for some reason. Do we need to charge? For some reason, there our formations are just trying to intermingle. I don't know what is going on here. Uh, the AI. Okay, well, I tried to do it a little less uh, micromanagement intensive, and that didn't work out. So I guess we'll just do it manually next time. Let's go deal with some of the archers. I broke some of them. Yeah, we want these guys to flee. Looks like they still have a few infantry alive, but they're... Yeah, they're getting engulfed. They're gonna have nowhere to run. Let's deal with these last couple of archers. Alright, that's it. Let's let this play out. Nine losses. Successfully defended the, the castle, at least. Maranoth is being sieged. We should go keep an eye on that, because it's probably being sieged by one of the people that we're enemies with. So if they take that, we can immediately take it back, which would help us quite a bit. Oh, yep, there it is. They took Maranoth. Let's go immediately. We do need to start looking at food. We went from 8k down to 5,400, so we are starting to burn through food. Can we get there? Yeah, we got there before those guys got in. Yeah, they don't have anybody defending. 102 people. Done. This is a free... This is a literally free real estate. And great news. Storm Karlin's gonna get married. Adas Emir. So this is from the Asterai. So we're gonna take in another Asterai lady. More babies. And of course, we're immediately sieging. Don't need anything. There's only 100 people. I right, get to the walls, boys. There's a ladder here. Let's do this one. Ooh. Okay, we may, might need to be aiming for the ankles here. These guys seem like they got decent armor. Okay, their defense is pretty good here. Let's uh, switch to the mace. Okay, the mace is taking three hits. What's going on here? Usually it's, usually it's one or two. But... Oh man, <laughs> coming in with the two-hander. This guy thinks he's our equal. Oh, a good battle with this guy. Okay, he turned his back. So he's gonna get, yep, he got clobbered. It looks like uh, they've got quite a few people with two-handed axes. Let's take these guys out. There we go. Oh, this archer wants to play. Get on the floor, boy. All right, I think that's it. There's there's a handful over there, it looks like, in the towers. Yeah, we'll just speed this up. Nice. And we got ourselves a free beef. Cost us 25 troops. Actually, that is not the case. It cost us 25 minus 11. So we will gladly take that. Show mercy, and we're going to do the same thing here. So let's... Now, loyalty is really low here. What is up with that? Let's go to manage town. Religious tension, high taxes, cultural assimilation. Yeah, there's a lot of issues here. So what we'll do, let's turn everything off. Let's go festival and games. And we also need to go to domain management, taxes on low. We'll put them in regular rationing, so that should uh, make them a bit happier here. Let's see what that does. Plus 11. Oh yeah, way better. So we do need to wait here for a minute though. So let's wait. And actually, while we're waiting, let's check and see if there's any spouses that are waiting. I know we married a few people. It happened during a siege. And you can't call him in. I guess just this one. Not available right now. She's probably in jail somewhere or something. No, it looks like everybody else is in. I thought we picked up some more spouses, but maybe not. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, let's let's hang out for a day or so. Let the loyalty go above. Hendrik is being sieged. That's unfortunate. Not much we can do. It's easy. It's going to be easier taking a siege back than it, than it is going to be dealing with this. You know, we do need to assign 
Let's assign somebody. Oh, preacher. But let's have somebody else manage. Yeah, I think that's probably good. A right, little bit more because we are still kind of close to that. Oh, somebody got pregnant. Nice. I was hoping that would happen. All right, so we're good on loyalty here. Flintog, and we are not going to peace with anybody. So Flintog, Pendrick. Pendrick, I believe, has been sieged for longer, so we'll go there first, and we'll work our way back. Oh, shoot. I think we left troops in the garrison there. We weren't supposed to. Let's. We can take these ones. Actually, we did not assign a governor here either. Let's do that. Yeah, let's take all these troops. There we go. So again, we are losing some troops. We're down to 1100 again. Oh, they are sieging. We're going to lose that. Yeah, for sure. We're going to lose it. 30, 40. Yeah, they got it. But on the bright side, we caught them and we can take the castle with pretty much no defenders because it just got taken. So that's fine. All right, we need to we need to handle this siege, this uh, field battle first. And yeah, this map is wide open. It's going to be really good for our cav. Let's dismount captains. Get them advancing. Same thing with the archers. That should keep moving in a nice straight line. We can readjust them later. Let's send the cab out. Let's have them interact. Put it lightly. Let's have them interact with the enemy cab. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> it's gonna swallow them whole. That's crazy. Let's uh let's get our infantry line have them post up kind of near the bottom of the of the hill. What is going on here? These are the ones that didn't make it? They got scared and ran. And we'll have the archers, so infantry... Infantry gonna post up right there. We'll have the archers post up right there. And how's that side looking? Right, we'll shield wall. And we'll shield wall with our infantry as well. Right, they have a couple cavs that are roaming our back line. We can try and catch those guys. These guys are for sure gonna gonna charge. Let's get them in a position first. Yeah, this guy's. Ooh, somebody knocked him down. Alright, here we go. Alright, infantry are in position. And they should be able to counteract their cav that are trying to flank our archers. We're gonna do a better job defending our archers here. Yep, should be able to handle that. And those cav completely destroyed their the cav on that side. Let's get them line formation again. Put them to move a little further back. These guys are all shield wall, so we're good there. Right, there's a bunch of horses. Oh, <laughs> it's the enemy cab that we're destroying. They're charging through our lines. All right, don't hit our guys, please. Right, they still have 11 cab. Let's just march at them. All right, groups two, three, and four. Let's have them form up right here. Okay, so they're kind of come down off the hill, actually. We don't need to go too far. Let's just stay right here. And we did entice their cab to charge again. Our archers this whole time are just destroying them. Cavalry, we're going to split into two. We'll let the uh, AI control their charging patterns, because there's really not much they get stuck on now, so I think it's pretty safe. So let's leave these guys right here. Alright, so we should be good. Oh, here comes... <laughs> here comes the throngs of... The light cab. Alright, these guys can go line formation on our left flank. Let's go ahead and send them up to deal with the archers. Have them walk through the archers. Who are these guys? Are these down cavalry? Yeah, these are down cav, it looks like. Right, get back in your line. Go do some useful stuff, please. They still have a couple cab that are getting through. Let's make sure they don't make it out. Oh, that's our guy. Alright, and group one it did make contact with the archers. Let's give him the charge command. And this looks like an enemy noble. Nope, that's one of ours. Yeah, that's one of ours. Oh, okay, we well, hit me. 
If you hit me, I'll hit you back. Good to know. Okay, that was really good. We lost very few troops. Yeah, I think having uh, dealing with one side of the cav or other side with our infantry is, is a pretty good plan. We could split into two cavalry. We might actually do that for the next one. That seemed like it would have been a little bit more effective and we could have used our infantry. We could have used all four instead of just three. But I mean, as a stance, oh, look at, look at that. They're getting chased down by our infantry. They got nowhere to run now. Take his hamstring out. Oh, they do have ex they actually have quite a few infantry over here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. We need to get our cab over here. Pick these guys off so they can't fight in the next battle. All right, that's it. Pretty big battle. I mean, it wasn't the biggest that we've had, but definitely one of the most impactful because we lost very few troops. And I'd be surprised if any of those guys got out other than maybe a few random stray cavalry. Yeah, five... Five escape. Only nine losses. Oh man, that hurts for them. They got completely destroyed. Now, the people that we lost most actually lost a decent amount of our companions. That's interesting. We need a little bit of relations with this guy to go back to even. So we'll release. We've already got too many prisoners, so probably need to get rid of some. So let's shuffle them. And then we do have to take this back immediately. 